Hello, this is Needlepointers.com and today we would like to show you how to make a garden apron. This garden apron has two large pockets and then four small pockets. It also has a pocket where you could hold a pencil. Watch our video to see how to make this garden apron. When choosing fabric for the garden apron, find a sturdy material such as decorator or duck fabric in three complementary colors or designs. After choosing the fabric, we're going to begin by making the pockets of the garden apron. You need to cut one piece 20 inches by 20 inches, one piece 13 inches by 20 inches, a piece of fusible medium weight interfacing 19 and 3 quarter inches by 9 and 3 quarter inches, and also another piece of fusible mid weight interfacing 19 and 3 quarter inches by 6 and a quarter inches. At the ironing board, take the first pocket piece, align the raw edges, and press along the top to form a fold. Insert the fusible interfacing. On the wrong side of the fabric between the two layers and fuse it according to the manufacturer's directions. Repeat the process for the other pocket. The next step is that with a straight stitch, we are going to edge stitch one quarter inch from the fold on each of the pocket pieces. After you have finished edge stitching along the pockets, lay the small pocket on top of the larger pocket and we are going to be drawing some lines to make four pockets along the small one. So since this is 20 inches long, I'm going to place a mark, with, I'm using a pencil, with my pencil at 10 inches. And then I'm going to draw a light line between there. Then you can make these the same size as if you'd like, or you can make them whatever size uh, you prefer. I'm going to make mine sort of equal. So again, I'm going to draw a line, a small line, and then draw a line between them. Another thing that you can do is if you want to be able to have a pencil with you when you're outside, you could um, draw a small pocket on the very, very end for making, holding a pencil. And I think that I will do that. Let me draw this one. And since we are using a half inch seam allowance, for the outside pocket, for the pencil, since it's a half inch seam, I'm going to do it um, one and a half inches from the end, which would be right here. Well, I think I have to move it up so that I can see the marking. And that'll leave a half, uh, one inch uh, for the pencil pocket. Now, after you've done that, 
and you've drawn your lines, you can pin the fabrics together to make sure that they do not shift when you're sewing them. And we're going to sew all of the lines except the middle one. You may actually wonder why I said not to sew the middle line. The middle line will be sewn to the actual apron body and that will then give you two large pockets at the top. When you're sewing the pocket, you should sew from the top down and don't forget to backstitch at the beginning. You don't necessarily have to backstitch at the end because that will be enclosed in the, um, when you sew around the outside. Now we're going to begin working on the apron ties. Uh, cut a piece of fabric two and a half inches wide by 45 or 46 inches long. I cut mine selvage to selvage. On the raw edge, you're going to turn it under about um, three eighths of an inch and you're going to press it all along the long side. Now, you don't have to measure it. You can just eyeball it if you want. And you're going to do it all the way down on the one side. And then when you're finished with that side, you're going to then, and I'll just show you, turn the other side in again, three eighths of an inch, and iron that. Now I'm going to continue with this strap. You're going to be making, of course, two of them. So I'm going to continue and then I'll show you the next okay, step. Okay, the two edges are folded in. So now you're going to fold it over and match it up the two edges and press it. And you may also want to put a few pins as you're going along to hold it in place. Do this process with the two apron ties. Using a straight stitch, you're going to stitch close to the edge. That's called edge stitching. And I think you should stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edge. Stitch all the way along one long side. And don't forget to remove the pins as you're sewing. One end of the apron tie will be going into the apron waistband, but we need to finish off the other end of the apron tie. So all you need to do is to fold it back I'd say that's about a half inch or a little more. Fold it back again and then put it under your sewing machine and use a zigzag stitch to tack it. I'm going forward and then I'm going to go back and go forward and back and that should be enough to tack it down. Now repeat what we did with the second apron tie. Now it's time to start putting the apron together. Cut two pieces of the apron body fabric 20 inches by 15 inches. On one of the pieces, place the apron pockets. Remember, we did not sew the middle line on the pocket. So now that's what we're going to do. Align the bottom and the sides and we're going to sew along that middle line. Don't forget to back tack at the beginning. 
with your second piece of 20 by 15 inch apron body fabric. Place it with right sides together on top of the piece that has the pockets and place a few pins around to hold it in place. Now you are aligning, of course, all the raw edges. And after you have some of it pinned, we're going to round the corners here. So when we sew, we're going to be sewing around. Now I have just an, a lid, and what I'm using is some quilter's chalk. And I'm going to just put a line, and that'll be my sewing line when I go around the corner. That won't be my sewing line. What that will be is I'll be sewing right along. I'll be doing a half inch seam along here. So this is not where I sew, but I'll be right next to it a half inch away. Okay, now we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to sew all the way around using a half inch seam allowance, as I said, and leaving the top part open. When you get down here, go slow around the corner. Oh, I know what's wrong. I have a pin in there that I didn't realize. Okay, I'm going to go back. I'll back tack. That's why my machine wasn't moving there for a while. go all the way around. After you've sewn all the way around, you need to trim the corner. Also in the corner, but don't go into the stitching. Trim and take out little triangles. This will reduce the bulk when we turn it right side out. Okay, now it's time to turn your apron right side out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the iron and I'm going to turn it all and I'm going to press it nice and flat. This is what it looks like after it has been turned right side out and pressed. Now it's time to finish by putting on the waistband and the apron ties. From the waistband fabric, cut a piece four inches wide by 21 inches long. Turn over your apron, place the waistband along the top edge, and center it in the middle. Now it's going to be longer than what the top is, and that's fine. We will be cutting some off later on. Pin it in place and then with a straight stitch we're going to stitch a half an inch from the edge and we're going to only stitch right from the end of the apron on the one side to the end of the apron on the other side. 
I'm going to stitch it and then I'll show you the next step. One thing I forgot to mention before is when you're putting the waistband onto the back, you want the right sides to be together. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press this. And then I'm going to turn it over. And you see how the, the seam is going up into the waistband. That's what you want. Now on the raw edge along there, we're going to press that under a half an inch. And I'm using my guide because I do want this to be a half an inch. Now I'm going to turn it back over so that the back side of the apron is facing up. I'm going to turn this down and line it up with the edge where it was sewed. But before I do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my tie in here so that it is um, extending out beyond the edge of the apron and fold it down and line that edge up like I said. Oh, I have to get my pins. I'll be right back. Okay, I put the tie in. I fold this down so the edge of the fold lines up with the seam and I'm going to just pin that tie in there for right now. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Insert the tie, make sure that it extends beyond the apron edge, fold it down, and pin it in place. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to sew a line of stitches right close to the edge. Don't sew in the apron itself. You want to be right next to it. You can be like a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch away. I'm going to sew it and then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, I have sewn it. I can see. And what you need to do now is to just cut off the excess about three eighths to a half inch away from the edge. Do it on the other side also. You might want to cut a little bit of an angle here so there won't be as much um, bulk when you're turning it to the right side out, but make sure you do not cut into uh, the stitching. We're going to take it and turn it the same on the other side. Turn your garden apron over. Line up the edge, the folded edge, with the seam and you want to extend it down just a little bit. You can press it and then we're going to pin it and the final step will be sewing right along that edge. We'll be edge stitching it right close to the edge. So as you can see I've just ironed it flat and I'm going to place some pins and then I'm going to go to the sewing machine 
and sew along this edge. Okay, I'm going to edge stitch about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the waistband. And of course you do want to back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Now, uh, you can also, which I think I'm going to do, you could edge stitch along the top also. So I think I'm going to do that. That way it'll hold it um, in place better when it's tied around your waist. So again, I'm going to do it about an eighth of an inch away from the edge and just edge stitch right across along the top. The garden apron is finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. To follow us, just click the link in the description or the iCard. Also, if you want more free sewing projects, please visit our website, needlepointers.com.